Hi okay, guys, let's start with arthrograms. So arthrograms is a study of the synovial joints uh, where contrast is injected. They're going to look at the area and evaluate the soft tissue structures. It could be any of the joints really. Um, we often do shoulders and hips the most, uh, but it could be done in the knees, ankles, uh, elbows, wrists, and EMT TMJs. Just a review of some bony structure, I think some terminology that we should put back in our brains um, are the two main regions of the long bones is the diaphysis and epiphysis. Your diaphysis is that hollow tube shaft that runs between proximal and distal ends. The wider section at each end is the epiphysis. Uh, it's filled with that spongy bone. Where they meet is the metaphysis. Or meat with an M, I always think of that. Um, as they're, as you're growing, you know, your pediatrics have that epiphyseal plate or that growth plate that we as adults is closed. Um, inner lining, outer lining, uh, endo, endosteum or periosteum. The tendons and ligaments attached to the bones at the periosteum. And then just a review quick of the ossification process. Remember there's primary and secondary. One happens before birth and one after, um, so primary before at the diaphysis and then secondary after birth um, near the ends of the long bones is at the epiphysis. Just a terminology review again for joints. Um, so I was taught to remember it as SAD, um, synarthrosis, amphiarthrosis, and diarthrosis. Synarthrosis are the immovable ones. These are fixed or fibrous joints. They don't have any movement. Um, so the bones of your skull would be an example. 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 Uh, Amphiarthrosis is your slightly movable. These are your cartilaginous joints. So like your vertebrae of your spine. And then the diarthroidal, the freely movable, are the ones that we uh, are focusing on for this orthogram discussion. And those are your synovial joints. They should have synovial fluid. They should move freely and smoothly, and when they don't, that's when the patients come in and say, hey, uh, my hip, my knee, my shoulder, they're not moving well. So they might come in for, say, an arthrogram. So diarthroidal and synovial are two terms I would really focus on for arthrograms. Uh, this was just a fun picture to help you go back and review for joints. I think I have one in color. Yeah, here it is. Um, another one, so go back to basics, review your joints and joint types. Specifically, we're going to focus on the synovial joints and um, those types, so you're going to review that back in your brain. Um, the six types of synovial joints I just have listed in this chart here. Um, so gliding, hinge, pivot, um, the condyloid or ellipsoidal, saddle, ball and socket, and compound, knowing which example is which. Going back to A&P basics here. Um, the synovial joints have um, a cavity and some capsules that you might see terminology-wise coming up. So synovial cavity is the space between the bones that's filled with the synovial fluid, hence the synovial joint. Um, the articular capsule is fibrous. It surrounds um, the diarthrosis and connects to the articulating bones, and the articular car cartilage is what absorbs um, shock and reduces friction during movement. Synovial fluid, so here's the kind of fluid, our main player here. Um, it's supposed to allow that joint to move freely and reduce shock, uh, absorb as we move our bodies. So that's just an image there of where you would see the synovial fluid. There are three types of connective tissue um, that we might see terminology come up uh, when we're talking about arthrograms. That would be cartilage, ligaments, and tendons, where they connect. Um, you know, we don't specifically, as technologists, look for this, but this is just some technology, or some technology, some terminology that I want to be kind of put back in your brains. Body movements. Um, these definitely will come up for you um, on your tests and maybe on ART. So these movements, I want to make sure that we know. Um, the difference between flexion and extension, abduction, adduction. I don't remember adduction. Someone told me it's like you're adding to the body, so you're coming back in. Um, circumduction, rotation. 
Watch for these terms with rotation, because remember, it's from anatomical position. So medially versus laterally, which way are they rotating? Eversion, inversion, that might be moving the patient during these arthrograms into these positions. Pronation, supination was just um, some terms I wanted you to remember. I only remember that the hand is like this for supination. Someone told me it's like you're holding a cup of soup. And so uh, I just want to get these terminologies freshed, uh, freshed, I can't talk today, refreshed in your brain. Okay, I'm going to pause there and come back with part two.